Hello everybody, in this Gunner Heat PC video we will be taking a closer look at the Abrams M1 IP. The M1 IP was the first variant of the Abrams M1 main battle tank series and was produced between 1984 and 1986. It is a variant of the M1 which is often overlooked or seen as a sort of in-between bridging model between the M1 and the M1A1. Which in reality it was. Even though some upgrades meant for the M1A1 were already finished, other bits were still in development holding the M1A1 back from production. Thus the US Department of Defense decided to implement the M1A1 upgrades which were ready to the original M1 and thus creating the M1 IP. IP stands for improved performance and the platform brought some welcoming upgrades over the original M1. For example, the fire control system received an upgrade specifically to the targeting and ballistics computer which enhanced the tank's accuracy. The tank also received additional armor and a better suspension system. The M1 IP did however still keep the same armament as the original M1 a M68A1 105mm rifled gun, which at this point was definitely starting to show its age. Especially if you compare it to the Soviet counterparts of the time, which boasted 125mm smoothbore cannons and tough composite armor. There were legitimate fears that the 105mm Abrams cannon would struggle against the Soviet armor, which is one of the reasons why the production period of the M1 IP was so short. It was rather quickly followed up by the much more advanced and powerful M1A1, which utilized a 120mm smoothbore cannon, a cannon that is still in use by the latest Abrams variant, the SEP V3, to this day. Although there are no official combat records for the M1 IP, we do know from photographs and written sources that it was at least deployed to the Middle East during Operation Desert Storm. This was however while the M1A1 was already well in US service and it was believed that the M1 IP simply got shipped out as backup and as defensive armor, while the newer and more powerful M1A1 spearheaded the coalition advance. Going back to the 105mm cannon and to Gunner Heat PC, we have the following ammunition available to us. Armor piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabo Tracer or APFSDST for short, capable of penetrating roughly 420 mm of flat steel armor at 2000 meters. We also get high explosive anti tank fin stabilized tracer shells, HEAT FST for short, which is capable of penetrating roughly 400 mm of flat steel armor at any distance, with the added bonus of making things go boom. Anyway, that is enough information for one video. Time to lock and load and see what the M1 IP can do. Alright, we are playing the mission Long Road. Situation, you are a M1 IP all alone on the road. You are on a journey of discovery going south. That is actually going south, like as in on the map going south, not shit hitting the fan going south. Uh, presumably. Not yet. Anyway. Um... Enemy, yes. Friendlies, well, us, basically. Uh, the mission, drive down the two-lane paved road and travel to the south side of the map. Gunner, Don't let anything... Eh? Huh? Howdy there, partner. Are you lost? Gunner, Don't do it. Don't do it. Where are my bullets go? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I forgot how to. It's been a while since I played this game. I. Uh, there we go. Here, have some of your tires. There you go. Eat some shit. That's right, have some in your little turret over there. How many rounds do I have? Holy moly, have some more. I got plenty of this stuff to share. There you go. Alright. Now, as I was saying, 
Uh, drive down the two-lane paved road, travel to the south side of the map, don't let anything stop you on your journey. Other, will you have enough ammo? Question mark. Uh, end condition, simple. All units of one side are knocked out, so either I die or the entire packed forces die. Um, so, yeah, looking at the map here, you can see this road jiggling all the way down south. That has all the waypoints on it, uh, six waypoints in total, leading all the way south. And uh, there is plenty of stuff for us to worry about on this road down south. So I think without any further ado, let's get moving. There's nothing really stopping us from going off the road, um, except for the mission description. But... I do want to follow this mission as well as possible. So I think we just verbally un agree uh, that we stay on the road. We don't get off this road. We follow this road anywhere. Oh god. This is Gunner, stable, tank, traverse right. That's a D-55, I think. Okay, um, so he looks right at us. I want to quickly scan this area for any other possible threats. I don't see any. I also don't want to be static here too long. Now he's pretty much looking right at us. He's looking away a little bit now. Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Nice try, my turn. God, he needed two shots. I'm really wondering where that first shot went. Uh, I guess we'll see once we get into the AAR. Anyway, scratch one T55. That one is nice and wow. He just keeps on exploding. Got that nice uh, sequential ammo detonation. Gotta love it. Like one cartridge sets up the next one and then the next one. Oh yeah, <laughs> there goes some more. Okay, it appears to be opening up here in front of us. Uh, oh wow, and to our right as well. Damn. And I mean, look to our left. They're, we could easily be dead now. Easily. Like, this is not... I, I would like to have... Oh god. A conversation with the commander that signed off on this mission. I, I have a, a word or two that I would like to... Uh, Tank. Tank? I don't see him. No, no visual. Now this is ideally where I would like to get off the road, but we have a verbal. Oh my God! Oh, he was looking at us. Holy moly! <laughs> I could just about see the barrel of that tank poking through the uh, foliage there. Did we get him? Oh my god. Okay, we have to get off the road a little bit here because they have formed... A bit of a roadblock for us, the crew of this tank. Uh, hold on. What? Did we just score a two for one? No way! Wow, all right. This uh, 105 millimeter packs a punch, huh? Jeez. All right. Pushing on. Oh 
god. Really? Why does it have to open up? Why, uh... I mean, normally open terrain is what you want, really, with armored combat. But, um... That does mean that you are usually combined with infantry. Uh, wow. Oh shit. I got H E or uh, AP loaded. Did we just get him? <laughs> we got we nailed that guy <laughs> with an AP shell. Oh my god, imagine being infantry and getting killed by an AP Sabo. That, oh, I, that's T72, that's T72, that's T72. Where the hell did that round go? Oh god, I still have heat loaded. No! Oh god, there we go. We are reversing. Okay, let's wait it out for a second. I um, I think I'm asking a bit too much of this targeting computer. Okay, smoke has dissipated. Let's try again. So he's right here. Up on this hill. Oh, he smoked as well. But I don't think... Yeah, no, he's up there. Into the turret. Yep, good hit, good hit. He's on fire. He is on fire. All right. We are gonna keep going, I guess. Um, also, if anybody knows in the comment section, like, um, I I've seen, I've been playing around with the, the smoke, new smoke uh, stuff in the game. Why does the Russian armor, the Soviet armor, launch their smoke grenades so far? Like, look where he was. And look where his smoke grenades are. Like, what's the point? That did not help him whatsoever. <laughs> uh, if anybody knows if it's, like, accurate and why they did it that way, uh, I would love to know. But so far, so good. So far. This 100 and... Wow! There's another tank right there. Oh god, that's another T-72. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say so far the 105 millimeter has not let us down yet and I am truly hoping It stays that way. All right. Uh, this sucks This sucks. He's already looking somewhat in our direction And I have to peek further than him because I have to clear Come on stop 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 aim fire Good hit. Oh god. Not that good. Okay, okay, he's he's looking the wrong way. Fire. Right into the side of the turret there. Thank god he was looking the wrong way, eh? I think so we used one smoke. I think we have one more smoke left. And I feel like we might need it here. We we are we are gonna need it here. I reckon. Tank, tank, tank. That is a T seventy two. Okay, aiming, firing. Uh, I think he was looking right at us. <laughs> I wasn't too sure, which is why I reversed. Oh, he fired smoke. Look, you can hear the smoke. That's pretty cool. Firing. Okay. One down. Wow. He is... Did they update the flames as well? Like, look at that. It looks so good. 
That looks so cool. Uh, I should probably focus on a mission, shouldn't I? There's another tank. That's another T-72. Gonna go on the right side. Wait, fire. And we are reversing. He's not dead. Give me another shell. I'm not sure. I'm gonna fire one. No, I think he's still alive. I'm gonna fire one in the front armor there. Firing. And we are switching to heat. Let's make sure we are not getting ambushed right now. Let's have a quick look around. Looks good to me. Uh, do we have two tanks on fire? Yeah, we have two tanks on fire. Good. Good. I see another one. Oh, God. Firing. Smoke. Oh my god, I got him. Thank god, I saw his barrel just coming right at us there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm not liking this. Oh god! Oh! Dude! That was a tank just hiding there. I didn't... I hardly, hardly saw him. If the commander didn't call him out, I would not have seen this guy. Or perhaps too late anyway. Alright. All packed forces have been neutralized. So we pulled through. Let's quickly dive into the AAR and see what kind of damage we actually did. So that was the mission Long Road in the Abrams M1 IP. Just like the original M1, the M1 IP is an exceptional opponent against its eastern counterparts, especially in regard of armor. And it turns out that as long as you know where to hit the enemy, the 105mm does not back down even a little bit against its stronger opponents, and we even managed to get a double kill with the AP Sabo. Even though its service time was short and rather uneventful, I think the M1 IP definitely still holds its place as one of the greatest tanks of all times, just like any other tank of the Abrams M1 family. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did and you would like to see more then feel free to check out my previous videos and consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, take care.